Hello, I'm John Gardner and welcome to another Ford Live webcast coming direct to you from the Frankfurt Auto Show, We're sitting here on the Ford stand. Today we're going to be talking about another important technology in the European automotive marketplace, all-wheel drive technology. And to help to explain this technology and its place in the market to the audience, I'm delighted to say that I'm joined by Derek Ward, who is Ford of Europe's technical expert for all-wheel drive systems, and also by renowned UK journalist Hilton Holloway. So, gentlemen, welcome and thanks for being with thanks. us today. And Derek, if I could start with you, could you tell us a little bit of background about the Ford story? We're here at Frankfurt, we've got an entire stand full of all-wheel drive vehicles, so can you give us a bit more detail about that, please? Yeah, I mean, by 2016, we're planning to have all-wheel drive and all four-wheel drive on 50% of our range. So that means um, eight out of 17 car lines. So that's Cougar, S-Max, Galaxy, Mondeo, Transit, Ranger, and Edge. And we think it's something that, that gives the customer an everyday benefit, comfort, safety, confidence in that. So almost a system for every full customer out there, potentially. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. And, and Hilton, if I could ask, I mean, the, I think the situation for a lot of people is they understand about four-wheel drive systems and what they mean in terms of off-road capability. But can you say a little bit about all-wheel drive systems and what that means for customers that, say, buy a Mondeo or an S-Max? How does that enhance their driving experience? Oh, quite, quite a great deal. I'm, a, I'm personally a big fan of what I call road-going four-by-four. Uh, um, I've driven so many cars over the last 20 years and really having having all-wheel drive the ability to put the power down on all four corners of the car is it's only when you experience it that you realize how useful it is so um, obviously in bad weather you have to make an overtaking maneuver the road's not very smooth you know, so the cameras going the other way those just it'd be four or five seconds when you're overtaking and you realize well, wow, this, this car is really stable despite the weather, despite the road conditions. It's sitting down, you feel very confident, you know where it's going. And once you've, once you've experienced that a few times, it's quite hard to, to give it up, really. And how's the market changing in Europe in relation to all-wheel drive technologies? I think it's actually, the, 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 uh, it's, it's rising up. It's about 15% uh, uptake, I think, across, across Europe for, for, for most, most cars, about 50% for the, for the big SUVs. Um, it's possible that's going it, to, well hopefully, I would say hopefully because I'm a big fan of the idea, it will, something that people will, will understand better and they'll start to t take it on in their, in their if you consider it as something to, to when they purchase their next car, that it's not just about driving across a field, but it's being able to cover long distances in all weathers, feel safe, come out quite comfortable. And Derek, in terms of the systems that Ford offers, we've got quite a variety, haven't we, I believe? Yeah, yeah, we've, we've got the intelligent all-wheel drive that's in Cougar and Edge, but also in Mondeo, Galaxy and S-Max. Um, it's a system that uses a clutch to actively send torque to the rear axle when needed, but only when needed. So if, if, if the system detects the driver driving in a sporty manner or the slippery roads or so forth, it starts distributing the torque as needed, but if it's not needed, it gets out of the way and improves our, our CO2 and fuel economy balance. Then we've got intelligent all-wheel drive and transit, which sends torque to the front axle instead of to the rear. Transit's a base rear-wheel drive vehicle, and it has an extra lock button for more extreme situations off-road. Um, then there's the Ford Performance all-wheel drive and the Focus RS. Brilliant, brilliant system, brilliant car. There we can individually balance the torque between the rear wheels to help turn the car into the corner or straighten it out of the corner again to, so we can accelerate right on, on, on the limit. And, and, and finally, um, the switch on the fly system yep. in Ranger, the serious off-road um, system, um, push button on the fly in, into four, four high, up to 120 kilometers per hour, and it's, it's got a low range as well for when, when the going gets really tough. In terms of forward sales of all-wheel drive technologies, are we seeing those really feeding through into the marketplace? Are we seeing a, a rise in sales? Yes, we are. Um, 2014, we sold 46,000 passenger cars with with all-wheel drive. In 2016, we're expecting to sell 70,000. And if we factor in the issue, um, commercial vehicles as well, it's, it's looking to, towards 100,000 all-wheel drive vehicles in Europe. So. And Hilton, just one final question on all-wheel drive. You say that about 15% of vehicles overall are now sort of coming with all-wheel drive technologies. 
Do you envisage a time when perhaps in the future this will almost be an entry level kind of technology and that virtually everything will have all wheel drive fitted to it? Well, that would be, be an, a good, I would personally think that would be a good idea because as you, as you experience, um, you know, we, ex, more extreme weather perhaps, and certainly the roads, the road system deteriorates somewhat because there's a lot of road in Europe that's, and, and I think the idea of having a, having a car, you, you look at that car and you think, that will take me pretty much anywhere in any weather. And I know I'm going to get there safely and comfortably. It's, it's quite a, I think it's quite a big draw. So it's really one of those technologies that once experienced, it's sort of never yeah, forgotten. Yeah, and yeah, exactly. You always want to have it, regardless yeah, yeah. of yeah. what type of vehicle you're very driving. Very hard to give up. Yeah. All right, great. All right, well, Hilton and Derek, thank you very much. That's all we have time for today. There will be further Ford Live webcasts coming from the Frankfurt Auto Show. So keep looking at this channel, and hopefully we'll see you again tomorrow. So take care.